the hardship has so much affected a lot of relationship. Families no longer come together, break up here and there, divorce here and there, and people are avoiding to bring more children into the world. Nigeria is now uh, uh, depopulating gradually as a result of the hardship. So we want to go to the street to ask others how the hardship has affected relationship. Come with me to the street to seek for others' opinion. The hardship in the country is causing a lot of stress for children. Feeding has become very, very difficult. You know, marital relationships have been put under a lot of pressure. You know, basically because of um, the cost of living has um, gone it has gone over the roof. You know, hospital bills, transportation, everything has gone out of place. Everything is um, is out of order. There's no. It's difficult, especially for men. It's difficult for women as well because going to the market, they have to quarrel with their wives, with their husbands. Sorry, about um, feeding. They give you ten thousand naira to go to market. You come back with one small nylon bag. You don't have anything. The the kind of economy where they talk so, we not got the economy that more than uh, Boko Haram where they drive us for bush. You the happy. You now where they it have me. You the happy. My children never chop this. Even though they say God help me. Ah, they, now yesterday I yes a cup of uh, gari. Now uh, three hundred. I be five hundred. The uh, beast is genetic. I mean, don't have. You know, good or God. I don't know they do for only being here. I don't do for the whole nation. Jehovah will judge them. It has really affected most many relationships. Let me use this instance now. Before my boyfriend is giving me, let me say, 50,000 every month, before the hardship. Now, during the hardship, maybe 10,000, I will even be like, manage this 10,000, 15,000. And that 15,000, you cannot use it to buy food stuff that will last you for a month. You cannot use 10,000 naira to cook stew that will even last you for two weeks. Before you know, problems will start coming in. You start having issues with your partner. Marriage is if the man cannot provide for the family. Before you know, the wife will start making troubles and all of that. It will even make some wife cheat outside. In the sense that if the man cannot provide, they will look outside for a man that can provide for their needs. This hardship is really causing harm than good to the society. Marriages, relationship, children, and then marriages. Because children, as a father, you cannot afford their school fees. It makes them stay at home. You get stay at home. Some people will even go into drug, drugs, into stealing. So you get, so that's my own contribution. No. The hardship has caused more harm than good to relationship and families. Hmm. This hardship, it made my partner the sleepers again. This hardship, my father cannot even face my mother to say I don't have 1,000 naira. This hardship, the, the apple size has drastically reduced and the price has erratically rose. Akbu, Akbu has been a lifesaver for years. Now Akbu is nowhere to be found. Akbu now not the scarce. To see Akbu for eye, now no problem. Akbu rap now 500 naira. Small baby of two years old. Go finish her. He goes to tell you, say, Mommy, I need more Akbu. Where is Akbu? Where is our Akbu? Where have Akbu go? Tinubu, where have Gary gone to? Tell me. Where is Akbu today? Akbu has rose so high in price and decreased so much in size. Akbu, dear Akbu. Akbu of so many years, I bet the matter they pay me. Husband and wife matter. They cannot matter to man. Wife not they give the husband to man again. Because the husband cannot pay the responsibility of tomatoes. <laughs> oh God. Look, to tomato now in this country, you need to have a tomato fee. Because to tomato needs tomatoes. And if you don't have tomatoes fee. Okay, now let's go to tomatoes. One tomato bulb for 200 naira. Fowl egg for 200 naira. Which one sweet pass? Now, you cannot afford tomatoes, you cannot afford egg. 
one egg for 200 naira, one tomatoes for 200 naira, no aku for 200 naira, cup of garina is 300 naira. How can we contain this? Tenubu! This country is going from Dama City to Dahuaha. This country is moving from elevation to elevator. This country is moving from Ali Haha to Ihihihi. Oto Kirie, Anebo Najaki Shabo, Abayele, Abayele, Tinubu! What did they come to a big pass us? Well, I have everywhere. We know if they feed well again. It affects everybody. As you mean, say, we they spend like 10,000 to feed the family before. Now nah, I don't double, now nah, 50k. We they spend more than what we they get. The thing that we cost for neck, I beg, and I make all the beg government, may they come to our aid. May they come make things easy, may they reduce fuel, may they make bag of rice cheap. So that many people will not feel afford, may they, they afford, more you know, go cure also. Because they say, now nah, a man with the hungry, now nah, very, very free body. As I did it soon, very, very free my body. I'm here they work, I know they see the money. It could be like saying no only food. Now person called the also for, for this country. We know if bear and my bear go. A middle class man in Nigeria, being in Nigeria having a harsh economy, cannot be compared to a middle class man in Sweden or in Germany that has had a stable economy for the past 60 years. 60 years means that the amount with which you will buy something 60 years ago will still be the same amount now. Based on Nigeria, economy is not stable. Providing for the family becomes a very tasking and difficult thing for the man, for the woman who is supporting, and for the children. And this may lead to crime, either from the children, from the woman, and from the man in the long run. So economy affects the family directly because it takes so much to cater for a family in Nigeria. It affects me big time. Not be, not be saying talk mad. I they affect everybody, especially me. They affect me as normal level. Uh, me now, what my, I be what why be say everybody know normal level. Uh, so they also lean. Since what they also they call, I don't suppose blue. You know that's that. But uh, this now, by now why be say I suppose they get like fifty k. I they say oh correct. I don't get one better money. You understand? Money they come out, you get twenty thousand. Bless say now fifteen naira. Uh, you get uh, five kg. Dollar there, I buy rice five thousand naira for market. Buy beans five thousand. It's not supposed to be like that. You understand? So I beg with the beg government at normal level. Me like at least if at all, me bag of rice, me be like I fifty k. Uh, move off it they afford that. Me gari if at all, maybe one k at normal level. Uh, me everybody they enjoy for the life. As we do so, a native now remain now. A native remain like this so because after now protest now I know today again. You understand? They don't give us the other side of their own stand and say protest, don't cut off. So like this now, everybody don't they come back to us again as normal level. Abi. Uh, so I beg government, may you help us if at all, I beg, I beg, because we are hungry like this. So. We are back from the streets. You can see how the hardship has so much affected a whole lot of relationship. Please do us a favor, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do share, like, and comment. Your opinion is very important to us. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do us a favor and click the notification bell so that you can be the first person to be notified whenever we upload new video. See you on the next show.